There is a price to pay for everything you gain. Yo, what is up, everybody? This is TOT. I am starting a new miniature series. It's going to be called Real Talk, where I will basically be talking about different topics that are of interest to me. They're mainly going to be gaming related. I might talk about something anime or music related, but that's mainly what this series is going to be about. Now, this first episode is going to be a pretty nice episode for me to review to go back to in the future because it's going to be talking about my YouTubing mistakes. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of these type of videos out, but I thought I would go ahead and make one for myself so I will have something to look at going into the future. One of the biggest mistakes that I have made as a YouTuber is not advertising my content. Now, you can have, now I want you to think for a second, you can have the best selling product, right? But if you don't market yourself, if you don't put yourself out there, people aren't really going to know about you or it's going to be very hard to find out stuff about you. Now, the person on the other end of the corner or whatever, they might not have as good of a product, but if they're advertising and the marketing is on point, guess what? They're going to get more, they're probably going to get more attention than you are, even though you probably have the better product. Advertising marketing is so important. Why do you think companies like Square Enix put so much time and effort into their marketing, into their advertising for their products because they know it helps generate sales? Another thing that I want to discuss is just the lack of content that I have on my channel in general. This channel is about five plus years old and for it to only have 50 something videos, that's a very low video count for a gaming channel. There are lots of gaming channels out there that have hundreds, maybe even thousands of gameplay videos at this particular point in time. So the plan is to be more consistent with those gameplay videos, uploading more, because normally I looked at my Decoron, I looked at the Decoron videos that I put out and I used to do maybe about one a month. That was kind of the trend that I was going for. But since I'm no longer doing that, I want to try to do about at least three to four videos a month. Maybe even more than that, just depending. But the goal right now is to get uh, out three to four videos per month, get more content out, because that's really the only way this channel is going to grow, is to put out more content. Another thing that is going back to the advertising aspect I was talking about earlier is advertising to the right people. Now, I'm going to play devil's advocate here, and I'm going to say with the game that I used to play, Decoron, I mean, used to make videos for it. I used to make videos for it. It was hard for me to advertise for that game because the community that I had to deal with there was a lot of negativity with that community. I didn't want to attract that too much to this channel. And so I was very hesitant to ever put a video up. And I ended up never doing it in the process. So that's something that helped hurt my growth quite a bit. But I feel like it was something that I had to do. Now that I'm getting into a different genre of game playing and whatnot, I feel like there are people out there that I do want to market to because not everybody is, you know, a real negative person. There are a lot of really cool, chilled people out there. For example, I'm subscribed to a guy named Tempest Vortex, and I'll post a link to his channel down below if you want to check his out. He doesn't have any videos right now, but hopefully he'll get his channel started up here in the future. But that'll be there just in case if you want to take a look at that something else looking at my channel that it just isn't that good it's just the quality of the videos man just even some of the videos that got really good reception or feedback even those videos are just eh. if I had to look at it from an objective standpoint they're not mind-blowing videos and that's when I want to get to the point to where I can start doing I think uh, an AMV might be able to do something that really pulls people in, something that just goes real viral, just boom, just give them that boom and makes people be like, wow, man, this is some dope stuff and they'll make them want to subscribe. I want to earn my subscribers. I don't want to ask for handouts or anything like that. That's why I'm not going to be like some of these other people who have music or whatever and they'll go to somebody's channel and they'll be like, hey, if you have a couple of minutes, check out my content and whatnot. No. 
I don't feel like doing that. I don't feel like that's the right way to go about advertising yourself. I think that's a little bit rude to the person's video that you are on. They've earned their way, so you do yours as well. I mean, I'm not hating. You know, everybody's got their own method, but for me, that's I'm not about that life. Another thing that I do want to talk about as far as the videos just in general is they just lack flexibility. There's just a lack of flexibility within these videos. I consider myself as a gamer, not super hardcore, but I do play a variety. I do play several different games. I fell enough to be considered a gamer. I don't have this blind hatred toward platforms that I don't play on. But at the same time, I do feel like this channel doesn't really represent that gamer aspect for me. And I want to expand out and really express that, hey, you know, I don't just limit myself to just a single game. I could have done gameplay videos for the PlayStation 3 generation with the Elgato HD recording device, but I didn't find that out until about probably about five plus months back, and by then it was like far too late. And I don't really want to go back and get that device to play my PlayStation 3 games, but I might going into the future. I haven't really decided yet, but it's still a really good recording device. It'll even work on your PlayStation 4. And if you do use that, you can actually, and you decide to play like the game that I have in the background, you won't, you shouldn't run into that copyright issue. I ran into the copyright issue because I was using the PlayStation 4 recording software that was on the con, that's on the console. So that's why the gameplay footage is muted. I didn't get any sound, so I decided, hey, you know what? I'm gonna use it for this real talk video. Another thing that I am, this channel is just really lacking is just, it doesn't have flavor to it, man. It doesn't have flavor. It's just a one, it's like a one gamer show. And this will work for games that are a lot bigger, like let's say like Call of Duty or like Smash Bros or something like that. But for a game that doesn't get, that didn't get proper advertising over in the West after a certain point, this wasn't a good route for me to take and I found out I got very slow growth. In fact, other people that were doing videos in this genre yeah, I also ended up with very slow growth. So it's the game not being put out there like and it went back to my advertising point that I made earlier. You have to market yourself. You have to put yourself out there. You have to let people know that hey, I'm I'm here. I'm big and bad. I'm going to do my thing. You know, come and check me out. You have to advertise yourself and it's so important to your product or your service that you're putting out there. When I look at this channel, I think of, I have to, the best way I can compare this channel is to like a mill. Let's say, hypothetically, you and a close friend of yours want to go to a store or you want to go to a restaurant or whatever and you decide to get a mill. Let's say you just get like a main course mill. Well, and I'm going to use pasta in this example. And if you're allergic to pasta or you don't like pasta, then use something that you're not allergic to <laughs> or something, and something that you do actually like. And your friend gets pasta, but your friend also got condiments, side dishes, a drink, a dessert, the whole shebang. Now, objectively speaking, the, now subjectively speaking, I mean, the meal that has all those sides, those condiments, the drink, the dessert and everything looks a lot better. So there so when I look at this channel, I look at it as something that just had just the main course. It doesn't have the condiments to really bring out the main content, to make the main content look so much better. And that's something that this channel is just lacking just in general. It's something that I can definitely work on, but it is going to take quite a bit of time. And hopefully with those condiments and those side dishes being put on, hopefully that'll definitely, that should kill out the flexibility issue that this channel has as well. Now something else that I would like to talk about is, did I already talk on the AMV? Yeah, I, I think I might have already done the AMV part. But uh, anyways, just in case if I didn't, I do want to do the AMVs later on once I get the proper content going. That is a big goal for me going into the future. And I wanted to play, I wanted to do this because I looked at other channels and you know a lot of them, 
people are at least talking on their videos and I feel like that's very important for the connectivity that you have with your audience or whoever might be watching your videos because if you're just doing a straight gameplay video and there's no talking or anything like that it's a very one-sided experience and it doesn't give much replay value a lot of the times and so people can't really aren't going to be as willing to go back and watch that video later on in time and so at least if you are talking about something that's important or relevant or relevant blah, which is that then people might be willing to come back and watch that video time and time again going into the future so let's say hypothetically I make a gameplay video right and I'm not talking like I have been on my Decaron once it's pretty much straightforward you have no opportunity I have no opportunity to create devil's advocate no opportunity for people to have a different opinion on the matter and so therefore that deters people from even making a comment on the video just in general and so you can have good cons good conversation get started or debates or whatever even if people disagree you can have some good debates or conversations get started on your content as long as you give people the opportunity to do that I haven't been doing that and so I'm going to try and open up and help and try and get that created going into the future for myself and for whoever may feel like they want to subscribe or whoever may want to comment or whatever uh, I'm normally a pretty chill dude but I know for a fact going into the future I won't be doing any face reveals just because I don't feel like it's necessary whenever I'm still doing the gameplay videos they're still gonna be silent like they always have been but I am gonna have these videos where I am talking and if, if there's a lot of dialogue involved like there is in this one then yeah I'm gonna go ahead and talk because it's a lot easier than just typing everything out and I'm gonna try to have subtitles set up because I know not everybody's going to be able to hear or everybody's not going to be able to understand English so that's something that I am definitely going to want to work on going into the future now talking about content in general if I wanted I'm going to mainly be doing it's going to be a mix up between PC gaming and PlayStation 4 gaming or PlayStation 5 PlayStation 6 <laughs> whatever so I'm so that's pretty much where I am going to be sitting at as far as right now. I ended up deciding on the name change because I felt like the user you name that I had before was just too doggone long for, for one thing. And I was like, you know what, this is really long, so let me cut this down. So I just kept so I pretty much just cut off the God of War aspect, but and I just kept the TOT there. Now, I'm always gonna be repping Kratos. Uh, I, I love Kratos to death. He's when it comes to gaming, he is my gaming idol. He got so much respect for Kratos because he's he's that kind of character that just represents, you know, determination and overcoming adversity and just showing that you know what you can put obstacles in my way as many obstacles as you want, but I will overcome them and I will achieve my goal. And I just love that so much about Kratos and. So I'm still gonna, whenever I do an entry video or something, I'm going to make sure that Kratos is being represented. There's going to be no doubt about that, unless I do like maybe an anime, an anime-related topic video or something like that. That might be a different story, but other than that, I'm definitely going to be repping Kratos all day, every day. Hopefully, he doesn't get milked too much to death. But yeah, sorry for getting off topic a little. I got off topic a little bit. Uh, something else is like, as far as with the videos in general, I'm just going to get to the point to where people can start to understand where I'm coming from. Hopefully my in my intros will start to speak more volumes. I I'm, I'm getting a little bit better with the intros. Still need to do more pizzazzing and whatnot because they're not, they don't have that pop factor for me yet. But I am working on that. Hopefully I'll get there at some point. But I do also want to keep the intros pretty fairly short. You know, I don't think an intro should be, for me, I don't think an intro should be anything longer than 20 seconds. I think, for me, 10 seconds is sufficient. And I am currently working on just a simple in outro that I'm going to be playing 
just to show some of the aspects of me a little bit better. But yeah, besides that, I just want to just kind of ramble on about some of the things that I believe I'm doing wrong as a YouTuber, some things that I need to fix going into the future. And if you listen to all of this, then all I can say is thank you for listening or thank you for watching and you be safe in doses and let the rage of Spider fuel your brain.